their cooking skills is how to put a quick, healthy meal on the table in a small amount of time. And because that's what you believe and you want them to believe, you're going to gear them towards doing a recipe that teachers cook where at your show. It doesn't matter what piece it is. It could be the rock craft collection. You've got three of those. You've got your family skillet, your steamer insert. You've got your stir fry. You've got my biggest seller, the grill pan. I mean, I sell that right out at my shows. That's why my show average is so high. People will buy that piece when they see it in action. So it doesn't matter what piece you're using because when you're doing your cooking show, what you're going to do during that whole time is use one piece but then talk about another piece. So for example, I'm making a salad with grilled chicken on it. I'm using my grill pan. I'm selling the grill pan right out, but I'm telling them about the rock crack. I'm telling them about this pan. Or this, the visual when you see it in the new catalog is gonna be awesome. So I might say, Patty, I wait till you see this warm uh, bistro chicken salad with the steamer. Look at what this, you know, showing the catalog. Look what, what, what you can do with this, you can hard boil eggs, you can poach fish. Uh, I can't wait to do this recipe. We have to do this recipe at your cooking show and show this new piece of cookware. After all, a staple in everybody's kitchen is a family skillet. You ha everyone has to have it. And now you have to have this insert too. So those are things that, you know, or you can bring in the rock rock. Talk about a different recipe. Talk about a, a different piece of cookware. I guarantee you, they are gonna find all the inexpensive items in the catalog, all the cutesy things, all the, all the things under $10. They are gonna find those, and they are gonna purchase them. But what you want is you want the bigger sale, and you want the booking. And they're not, some people will buy the grill pan for me, from me right there and then, but other people will get it or hope to get it. And that's where you want to create the want for those um, for those pieces. Um, as consultants, you guys, I do believe it's necessary to spend money to make money. And I remember Patty telling me that when I was in Texas by myself, floating around trying to do this business. I always remember she told me that, and I'm telling you that too. And so you can earn all the pieces, you can earn them, you can host to get them, you can buy it at half off with the, with the uh, product preview that's coming up, but whatever, you're, I would make it a priority to have a family skillet, a rock rock, a grill pan, now the steamer insert for summer. So you have to make a plan to get all this cookware in your kit. How are you gonna do it? And then you're gonna plan your show recipe only with cookware in mind. There's tons of wonderful recipes, soups, um, chili, you know, what they're showing for this, stir fries. The grill pan can be used at every single show. If it doesn't have it in there, don't do the recipe. I, I mean, they want an appetizer, throw some cream cheese with habanero on a plate and say, here's your appetizer, we're doing a main dish. <laughs> they love that, they love that, and it's, 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 it's great. Okay, cooking. Yes, we'll book for the higher priced items, but you've got to make them want them, okay? You've got to tell them how they're going to work in their kitchen for meal time. Okay, so here's the other uh, little guy that I'm going to introduce. It's called the Closing Cups, and it sells for $26.50. It's dishwasher safe, and it has a little bit of an angle design to it, a little bit of a spring. So what you can do with this, is put anything in there that is not thicker than an inch and a half, and with one simple motion, with any of your knives that are seven inches or longer, so this is good because it's gonna incorporate um, the larger pieces of cutlery. So say these are cherry tomatoes. You're gonna slice through them, they're gonna go in half. It's a bagel, you're gonna slice through it, it's gonna go in half. You can even slice the bagel in half again to do four thin slices um, if you're watching out for carbs. Uh, olives, fresh mozzarella ball. Here's how I'm going to use this at my show, okay? I'm going to use this anytime I'm doing a recipe with chicken. <laughs> because you put a whole chicken breast on here and you can slice.
slice them in half and butterfly it perfectly. What is that going to, that's going to be healthy eating because it's going to give you portion control. It's going to be economical because now you've made your chicken go a little bit further, right? And so I know if you go to some of the stores like Costco, I love Costco's meat, but they, they slice everything so thick. So now I would go there and buy the boneless pork chop and butterfly them with this tool and know that I'm going to get an even cooking result instead of I slice one thin, I slice one thicker, and then it's all, it's all screwed up. So this is going to be that tool that's going to help you um, in the kitchen when you're preparing dinner. Um, I would also probably say something like, this is a new addition to our wonderful cooking, our wonderful cutting and slicing tools. <coughs> because after all, most of the time we waste in the kitchen is cutting, slicing, and chopping. So now we have another addition to that line. Because when I'm doing my cookware and my meals and my shows, I'm focusing on that cook, cutting, chopping, the manual food processor, the chopper, the mandolin, the slicer, the knife, the things that are going to really help them put that meal on the table um, in record time. So anything uh, that has a cutting or chopping background to it, bring it in the forefront. And this, like I said, I wouldn't, how you can do it, like at your shows, maybe put some great tomatoes in there and have people try it. Um, but for me, I think I'm going to also incorporate it in my, in my main dishes shows, what, and usually I am doing chicken, so you can slice that chicken breast and bring it in. Um, I have some things that you can cross sell with your cookware. There's a ton. There's cookware protectors. There's the boil over. There's the um, platter screen. There's the wonderful silicone mitts and handle holders and things like that that you can also um, sell them up on or, you know, have available. And um, so lots of great accessories, our bamboo line. Anybody have a curling iron? Yeah. A curling iron? <laughs> oh, very cool. So we've got our bamboo, we've got all of our lines, all of our great cookware accessories. So always, you know, talk, talk, to, talk to your customers and let them know with certain pieces they're going to want certain accessories to keep their cookware looking really, really um, good, not tragic. Because what are the two things that we don't warrant in our cookware? Like in our, uh, like, I'm warranty on this. Yeah, right. Dishwasher uses, and then metal. the other one. Metal. metal. Yeah. If it's down, just metal the utensils. So that's something to, to let them know. Um, I'll leave you guys with just one other thing, and obviously that's going to be <coughs> how do you become an expert? Okay, so we talked about getting some of these products. So the way you're going to become an expert on cookware, um, we talked about spending the money to get it. That's number one. You got to use it in your kitchen. See what it does for your for your family meal time, so that you can share it with everybody that you're that you're working with. Consultants Corner has a wealth of information on the um, features and benefits of our cookware. You don't have to know them all, but I tried to give you a few that I think are really important that will trigger you know people's um, you know love for our cookware. Uh, so. I think all of these ideas combined, switching over to a main dish show, um, is going to result in higher show sales for you and also for with more bookings. Yeah.